Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to easily repair your microwave that is sparking. This can be pretty uh, pretty shocking when it first happens, and I'm just going to jump right into it and show you how to do this simple repair that's not even mentioned in your owner's manual because a lot of the times uh, microwave manufacturers don't want you to kind of know about this and do your own repair. But on every microwave, if you get inside and you look to the right, right behind all these uh, inner workings or this you know control panel, you'll see this. Uh, kind of like almost an aluminum plate. This is called a waveguide. And behind that is a thing called a magnetron, which spins and creates the uh, microwaves to cook your food. Now, you always wanna make sure your microwave is clean, clean it on a regular basis, and also use you know some soap and make sure this waveguide plate is clean. Because if you don't clean it, food can collect on there and things like that. And I'll show you what happens. This thing just pops out on mine. On other ones, there's like a little rubber garment, but on mine, you have to pull out that removes it. But on mine, you just kind of bend it and there's four corners that pop in and it comes out. Behind there is the magnetron. But as you can see on my on my plate, it's pretty dirty. It's probably about two years old. And on the back, you can actually see where it was arcing and creating the spark. Um, that was causing sparking on my microwave. So you can find replacement waveguides on Amazon. They're only about $3, $4, uh, and they're specific for your model of microwave. But instead of throwing away your microwave thinking it's broken because it's sparking, check your waveguide. See if it's dirty, see if there's any arc marks on the waveguide, and then to simply go on Amazon or eBay Type in your model of microwave and then waveguide. Search for that and like I said, you can find replacements really cheap that just pop right in. Okay, I got the new waveguide installed. I'm just gonna do a quick test before it was sparking in about three or four seconds after starting it, so we'll see what happens. 95% of the time this solves the problem and saves you from having to buy a new microwave. Like you can see, it's working, so my microwave is back in operational conditions. So anyways, I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give it a like. I'll put some links below to where you can buy uh, replacement waveguides on Amazon for the most common uh, microwaves, LG, Frigidaire, um, Samsung, things like that. So anyways, hope to see you in the next video. Bye.